Get away from my trap. You never know what's coming your way with Ladybug Adventures. I bring you mouse traps, archery videos, car cam videos, DIY projects, and computer builds. Don't forget to subscribe. I do read the comments from my videos and I decided in this trap to incorporate some of the improvements that people had suggested on one of my more popular uh, mouse traps. And I actually had to agree with some of the comments. One was that uh, the cap, that was really unnecessary. Um, if I had something that once it swung up that it would cover the top um, and you could use a magnet on the top there to hold it still, uh, that would work to make sure the mouse wasn't able to get out. Other people suggested lining the bottle with something slippery like oil so it's hard for them to jump or hold on and or, or also to put something on the bottom that gives it makes it harder for them to push up off of to jump as high and the only issue with that for me is that when the mice do get caught they defecate and urinate all over the place and with any extra added material in there it is so much harder to clean up and I don't want that to happen as you can see there's a ton of material in there and it's just easier if I can be able to rinse it out pretty neatly I ended up using a much smaller bottle uh, the small juice bottle and it takes up a lot less room and this is what I ended up coming up with um, I think it's relatively simple to make you be the judge but uh, I don't know everybody said the last one was too complicated so this must be ridiculously complicated so I just used some scrap pieces of wood and used these juice bottles which have a very wide opening and they're very uniform uh, so they work really well two paper clips and some scrap metal 4x2 millimeter magnets again 50 for one dollar Canadian and the best purchase I've ever made a hot glue gun use paper clips to make supports for the bottle and they're just hot glued to the base of the wood and I make little donuts with the hot glue a uh, little point in the middle there that where the paper clip holders will fit in and you don't put any holes through the bottle which is great and for the wood pieces I'm just hot gluing them in place um, and this is the support that will be for the top again just hot glued in place so before you hot glue things into place I just do a lot of trial runs and see where uh, the bottle stops and where I want to put all my pieces so that it stops where you want it to and hot glue some magnets to either side of the bottle and there she is I put uh, another little cap on the top and that's the stopper so that the mice can't jump out and there's these little small metal plates on the uh, the bottom and the top where the magnets will stick you'll see on one of the metal pieces there's a piece of green tape and that's to uh, make the magnet less effective so that the trap will be set off a little easier and so you can vary how much tape you put down so it's just a lot of trial and error just to figure out the gaps that you have and make sure that everything has enough clearance and I have a little cap here with some holes drilled in after you capture it you can cover it up and it be able to breathe. This is optional but I had a piece of wood just for a little ramp. I had some unexpected situations with some visitors to my traps. Um, so for quite a few nights this little bugger with his little friend would come over and harass my traps and actually break them so I had to repair them a couple times and this situation is where just the it wasn't sensitive enough so this is a small mouse going in uh, and I needed to put some more tape on the metal so the magnet wouldn't stick as much because the mouse was in and out in and out free food Once I got the sensitivity worked out, bingo. You've been captured by Ladybug Adventures. The timestamp in the bottom corner says 12.30 a.m. And one a very frequent comment is they're going to chew through the plastic 
and I just want you to watch the timestamp. And almost six hours later, he's still there and he didn't chew through anything. So a big thanks to everybody who leaves uh, comments down below and especially construct constructive criticism and comments. Um, it helps me to make a better trap and I think I made a much better trap. This is so much more effective than my other one and it's uh, all thanks to uh, you, the viewers. Again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out some of my other videos and I'll see you in the next one.